Hello and welcome to another Idea Space Craft Along with the Public Library of Brookline. My name is Christy and I'm a referencing technology librarian at the Brookline Village Library and I'm here today in our Idea Space to show you all how to make your very own tiny clay planter. Let's get started. Is this your first Public Library Brookline to go program? Here's how it works. Each month the library is offering new take home program kits complete with everything you need to follow along and video or written instructions created by one of your local librarians. The best part? Absolutely no due dates. You can keep everything included in your kit. Visit brklib.com slash to go for a full list of our current kit offerings. Then come by any Brookline Library location the second Monday of every month to pick up your kit while supplies last. Now let's get crafting. Today's project will take most makers about two hours to complete, plus at least a day of drying time for the clay. Here's what you'll find inside this month's kit. Two planter templates, four packages air dry clay, one bag dried moss, one faux succulent, three colors acrylic paint, a paintbrush, and two magnet stickers in an envelope. From home, you'll also need something to use as a rolling pin. I'll be using a wooden dowel, a knife or craft knife, and a safe cutting surface like a cutting board. Take a moment to gather your materials and then we'll get started. Start by choosing the planter template you'd like to work from. Using a knife or a pair of scissors, cut out both the shapes from your template. It doesn't need to be perfect. The blue shape will be the back of your planter, and the black shape will be the front pocket to hold your plants. Next, open up your packages of air dry clay and form them into one large ball of clay. This clay starts out a cream color, but it will turn white when it's completely dry. Use something round like a glass or a rolling pin to roll the clay out on your safe cutting surface until it's about 1 8 of an inch thick. Then lay your template pieces over the clay and use your knife to cut them out. Again, we'll be smoothing out the edges of the clay in a minute, so your cutting doesn't need to be perfect. If there's not enough space for the second piece of your template, you can re-roll your leftover clay into a better shape. Once your clay is cut, it's time to combine the pieces into a planter. Fold up a piece of your template so it's about a half an inch thick, then line up the pocket with the back of your planter. Now tuck the folded piece of paper between the pocket and the back. This will keep the pocket from collapsing as it dries. Now we need to attach the pocket to the back of the planter. Pick up your knife again or use an old pencil to gently press the edges of the pocket down into the edges of the back, sort of like you would crimp the edges of a pie crust. Once you've gone all the way around the edges, you can use your fingers to smooth out the seams. You shouldn't be able to see any kind of dividing line between the two pieces anymore. It's just about time to let our planters dry, but if you have leftover clay, you might want to turn it into some more decorations or mini magnets. For this planter, I cut my template into smaller pieces to create mosaic style shapes. You can bond additional decorations to your planter the same way you did the pocket. Just use a knife or pencil to press the edges together, then smooth out the seam. If you'd like to hang your planter in a window or on a wall rather than hang it with the magnets in your kit, you can also cut a hole in the top of your planter now. A drinking straw creates just about a perfect size for yarn or twine. Now it's time to let your planter dry. Make sure the back of your planter is flat against the cutting surface and leave it for at least 24 hours. Because the back isn't exposed to the air, it might take as long as 48 hours for it to dry completely, but it's important to leave it positioned this way to prevent warping as the clay sets. If you do start to notice any warping, you can place something small but heavy and smooth like a coaster on the back to help weigh the clay down as it dries. Once your planter is completely dry, you can paint it with the acrylic paints in your kit. We've included three colors, but you can add your own paint from home, color the planter with markers, or experiment with mixing the included colors. Decide you want a different color halfway through? Acrylic paint is opaque, and unlike our clay, it dries super quick, so it just takes a couple of coats to fix if you have a change of heart. Once your decorations have fully dried, it's time to add your plants. I'm using some craft glue to help hold my plants in place, but you can skip the adhesive if you don't have it on hand. If your succulent is too big for your planter, try trimming the ends of the leaves at the base for a better fit. Once 
Once your plants are arranged and any glue you used has dried, just peel and stick the magnets to the back of your planter or add string to the hole you created in the back and your planter is ready to hang. Thank you all so much for crafting with us today. We would love to see what you made with your kit, so please feel free to share your project with us on social media using the hashtag MakeYourOwnStory. The Craft Along program is generously sponsored by the library trustees and the friends of the Brookline Public Library. From all of us here at the library, we miss you and wish you very happy making. Bye-bye.